gangs in Haiti have taken control of the capital and forced the prime minister to resign, throwing the country into complete chaos. Here's what's going on. The violence first broke out at the end of February when Prime Minister Ariel Henry travelled to Kenya to sign an agreement for Kenya to send troops to help stop gang violence in Haiti. Gang violence has skyrocketed in Haiti after President Jovenel Moïse was assassinated in 2021. After Moise's assassination, Henry, who had just been appointed as the Prime Minister, took over as the President while also serving as the Prime Minister. Under his rule, Haiti spiralled into a state of extreme unrest with police and courts barely able to function. In addition, a power vacuum emerged as the country hasn't held any elections since 2016 and Henry indefinitely postponed new elections. Haiti now has zero elected government officials after the last elected senator's terms expired in January 2023. Gangs, which are usually associated with parties and politicians in Haiti, started gaining more autonomy and control over the country, including 80% of country's capital, Port-au-Prince, according to the UN. In the early hours of March 3rd, gangs stormed into Haiti's two biggest prisons and helped about 4,700 prisoners to escape. They then attacked police stations, port of princes main port and airport causing chaos and bringing the city to a standstill. Gang leaders demanded Henry resign and for the international community to stop supporting him as Haiti's legitimate leader. In response, the government declared a curfew and a state of emergency until April 3. Follow for part 2.